Yo, what's up, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? We're doing something a little different today. We're playing a game that is like a movie or interactive game or interactive movie, whatever you want to call it. At FMV, which is film motion video. We're playing that today, and we're going to see how that goes. So let me give you guys some context about this game. This game is about, it's called The Complex, and it's an interactive sci-fi thriller movie from production company uh, Wales Interactive. And um, basically what the game is going to be about, interactive movie, whatever you want to call it again, an after major bioweapon attack on London. Two scientists find themselves in a locked down laboratory with time and air running out. So that sounds interesting. I'll be making choices like you guys always, you know, have seen me do. And uh, <laughs> with my other games that, uh, that that are the horror games. And uh, let's see where, how we <laughs> how this pans out this time. So let's let's try this. Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm -hmm. <sighs> nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So another drone? Yeah, they dropped nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? Hi, I'm Amy. You're Talo. Pleasure to meet you, Talo. Are you going to hurt me? Uh, lighthearted, serious? No, I'm not. Team doctor, you got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Okay, Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now. It's okay. Tell him, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay. okay. You're all right. You're all right. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us are standing against him. Who the hell is she talking Tell about? Me. We're just gonna ruin my life. Ah. Uh. Treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Ooh, no, she didn't. <laughs> I'm trying to save your life. You over here, Harlem shaking. Look at me. Breathe. Look at me. I need. I need to save my baby. Ooh, blow your socks off, boy. She was ready. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one vial left. Oh, no. Already I gotta make a choice like this? What are you gonna do? I gotta save either or already? Make a decision. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. They both over at Harlem shaking, and I gotta figure out who. Uh, I don't even know why I did that. Why'd I save her instead of him? Dima, give me your arm. Dima, please. 
You have to trust me. Okay, this will save you and your baby. You are mm, okay. Cool. Okay. You want to kill my baby? No. No. What the? F Why would you do that? Now they're now you. Oh Reese. my! They pull part of shaking. Reese. Oh my! Why would you do that? Oh my god, guys. I don't know why she would do that. We stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even... Oh, okay, here we go. So this is where I can keep track of relationship status. So I had a 77% with uh, Talo. And 32%. And uh, 46% 40, honesty. 53% bravery. 50% curiosity. 50% intelligence. And 57% sensitivity. So that's uh, Amy's personality traits. Can I check anyone else? No, I can't do anything else. All right, then cool. developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Uh, okay, I'll answer. I'm with it. Kindar is at peace, but your concern is understandable. May I continue my presentation? I'm just saying, it's... Bad PR for us to associate with Kensington. She's dealing with the dictator. Well, as you've seen, that's simply not the case. Why is there so much research happening out there? It's a fucking waste of our money and resources. Kindar is a former British colony, and we're all here trying to help it recover. It seems like good philanthropic PR to me. And it's a tax haven. Go on. The, the Rona, that's what that is. That's the Rona. <laughs> now, the real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. And that's how it starts. Mm -mm. Uh uh. Hey. Get off. Are you okay? And she not. She need to get off. Next <laughs> stop. Don't do drugs, okay? Yeah, all right. that drugs don't do that to people. <laughs> we can't fit a hospital on a ten-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nano cells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> Ma'am, you must get off What's of this problem? train. What? what? <laughs> there you go. Recorder. Oh, no, she didn't. 
Ooh. Uh -uh. This is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. <gasps> oh, hell no. Oh, a little outbreak monkey. Uh. Oh my goodness, what the f- Yo! She like world star hip hop recording and shit. <laughs> some serious concerns about this. Likewise, before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. Uh, we need to get you to the car now. Okay, okay. Let's go. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Emily. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? Oh, they didn't put her it's on the, the YouTube. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Ooh, that's not good at all. Hold up. Hold oh up. Head. This is beyond our remit. Whoa. Starting to get interesting. Oh. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. And we were waiting on your word before moving her. Uh, a single person drone or ground ambulance. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes, then whatever's inside her, it gets out into the public. It won't crash. It's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Oh. Uh, okay. Wait. Drum, don't fuck it up. So, what else do we know about her? Nothing yet. Let's get back to the complex. My apologies for the skipping. I'm not sure if it's on my production end or is it a part of the game? I'm not too sure. But again, my apologies. complex kind of reminds me of like umbrella i guess from uh, resident evil friend in a strange country i can empathize with that today we need all your field experience amy time to roll back the ears mm -hmm. you can say that again you've got to be kidding me nah. it's been a while dr wakefield you got here fast well there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line reese wakefield hug let's walk and talk So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job. Now, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, if we consider the hysteria, it might actually be valid. What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise... I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's got to live. 
She don't want you no more, dog. It's over. I think I think they used to be together. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Can we go, please? Nat, I'm gonna use the toilet as well. There yeah, let's... toilet's down there. Amy! <sighs> let's see what this dude's up to. Or maybe he really is just going to the bathroom. Gender fluid toilets. What the hell y'all looking at? My business. Got the bubble guts. <laughs> I should just went back to the office. What was I thinking? From your assistant down in security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab alpha. Nat, is this my tech? Yes. But how? I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nano cells, otherwise, our life's work's gone. All of the nano cells are inside of her. It was a master batch. Oh my goodness! Good luck. Wow, good luck. Man, it probably took years to engineer that. Woo! Oh my God, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits. You'll see. All right. Uh, you know what? I'll change right here. Bread don't matter to me. Better change in facilities than in the Congo, right? Eh? Yeah. And Kinder. Ah, uh, it's front, mister. Ain't nobody doing nothing. Nah. Well, for what? Space. Suits is pretty fly. I need to get me one. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical. Barriers. How long have you worked here again? Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. 
learn anything that could help us today? Hope not. It's like really, really quiet. And what did they go behind? Like two doors, three doors? So the meditation's new. So is the spying. Touche. <laughs> Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony cell. Let me take you to her. That's a man bun, bun sir. Those dolls that go inside each other. My Turska dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? So what's your story then, Malkin? I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Hmm. Holy shit. It's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. This is my tech. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. <laughs> No, 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 leave it in, Claire. You need it. Oh, feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? I'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Mina. What's Mina? Terrorist organization. Oh, will you stop that, please? Look, how many times have we seen a lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanocells aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Answer call. Named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way, she dies. OK. Amy, we're going to have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just. I'll get back to you. If she dies, she dies. That's her mentality, huh? <laughs> what we wow. Do, uh, don't put me in that position. Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. You better not touch me either, or him. Need to replace this, okay? Don't bite me. Yeah, <laughs> he knew exactly what I was thinking. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. A little rusty. Come And don't. Don't go anywhere.
Who delivered this crate? Oh, it was here when we arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way. It needs to be moved. Hey, Dr. North, I'm sorry to ask, but can you move this crate? Yeah, not a problem. That's what we're here for. Thank you. Oh, my God! Oh! oh what the hell? the hell yo oh what the hell something off about Malkin. What kind of a scientist has a fucking ponytail? Man bun. Let the record stand. That's a man bun. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. You're fine. Oh, oh. Oh, is Claire all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Lightweight. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that, and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. Yo, for whatever was just going on in here, she was sitting there pretty Here's calm, the wasn't she? She didn't even like call to check on them, you know what I mean? Little suspicious. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. What the fuck? No for stay kit. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of her expensive whiskey. Ah. This is gonna stink. Yeah, I'm gonna slap you and you won't feel it. Ah! The fuck? Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Cold. Oh! Cold as ice. <laughs> I have to clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. Nah, we gotta clean that, bro, so don't get affected while you're down here. Did you hear that? Yeah. I need you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. We need to uh, disaffect it. Wait here. I'm gonna go see if there's something in the intensive lab. No, I mean, it's fine. Look, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. It's not fine, bro. And did we tie your boy up that's laid out on the ground? What if he wake up again? Him and his man bun, man, for real. Hello? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Amy? Just a sec, Grace.
Thought you'd gone quiet over here. Your nano cells don't like my chat either. Well, I did mold them in my image. Mm, that makes sense. Bunch of mini controlling bitches inside me. Look, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you. I've dealt with worse odds before. Really? Really. You need to comply, though. Whatever it is that's going on, if you know anything, please tell me. Maybe. Yeah, no, I'm gonna need you to. I can work with maybe. Six nine it and, and give up that info. Hold we strong. need that. That way we can help you, help us, so we can help you. Oh, that's about to burn. Oh, oh. <sighs> she better than me. I would have poured the bottle. It's just like Yemen. Well, guys, um, I'm 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 kind of enjoying it. It seems. Let me see. Does the stats anything change? Okay, that's okay. It's looking good. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying it, guys. Um, I think it's uh, is is very interactive. Well, to a degree, and um, but it's weird playing it because it's like, it's like a movie that I'm watching, but I'm actually playing, and then I'm gonna hear my voice over the movie, so that's even gonna be like even you know weirder to me. But um, it it doesn't seem bad. Um, what else can I say about it? It's fun so far. It's a little different than what I've ever played, and um, I'm lying. I played another game. And it was supposed to go on the channel, but I didn't. I played one part of it. The name of the game. It's another FMV or interactive movie, interactive game. It's called Telling Lies. I did not like that game whatsoever. So <laughs> I don't think that's going to go up on the channel. I only played like one part. And it was a free game, so I didn't have to pay for it. But this game seems pretty cool. And um, we are going to continue playing this and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next part as always like share and subscribe for mr tiny p boxhead gaming and i'm out